Hey y'all, here at OS Reviews. So it's been a minute since we checked out the Amazfit GTS2. They also came with, in the same family, the round edition of the watch, the GTR2, that I also really liked and had pretty much the same feature set, but just has a difference in terms of the shape, whether round or square. Well, now the company is back with their latest generation version of their watch, which is the Amazfit GTS4. We're mostly talking about modest improvements compared to the previous gen models, but we'll still be unboxing and taking kind of a first impressions look in this particular video and then stay tuned for our full review which will be coming out soon as well. So as part of this particular packaging it seems like the overall style and presentation is a little bit different from before, slightly more colorful, and now they are calling themselves a Zep brand. The companion app is called Zep instead of Amazfit, but it's still the same company with the same features and products that we've known from previously. Now one slight difference is compared to the 1.65 inch OLED display from the previous model. This one now has a 1.75 inch AMOLED display. The screen size has increased, although it retains the same pixel density at 341 ppi. Now it also claims to have up to five satellites for positioning, which is more than the previous gen, as well as now supports offline navigation and turn-by-turn -turn results as well. It has a built-in microphone that you can use to answer phone calls and also use Alexa to trigger voice commands. In terms of the battery life, it's rated to last upwards of of eight days on a full charge, which is technically one day longer than the seven days, which is rated on the last GTS2 that we saw, but it's not a huge difference, but still this is definitely better battery life than say a Apple Watch. And the reason is because it's a more simple and lightweight operating system. Although increasingly it's getting more feature rich in terms of automatic workout and sports recognition, along with adding a few more apps that you're able to download. Otherwise the GTR4, you can still pick up the round version of the watch, will have longer 14 day battery life which is still the same trend that we saw from last time. The round version for some reason just has considerably longer battery endurance because it has a bigger cell and mostly just a different aesthetic that you're going for. So it has a branding here up your game and then other packaging contents are inclusive of just a quick charging cable that is these magnetic pogo contacts that you can attach onto the back for charging it up and it takes about an hour and a half to fully recharge along with having just a quick user guide. All right, so just taking a closer look, there's another little sticky pad that we can remove from the back here with the optical heart rate SpO2 blood oxygen monitor as part of their biometrics, which they claim has also been improved. They're now on their fourth gen as well. The band here is kind of interesting because it actually attaches onto the inside to get you a little bit more of a snug fit and should hopefully not be as easy to loosen up or pop open. We have just the Amazfit logo. It's a silicone strap that comes included, but again, these 20 millimeter straps can be easily replaced Turning on here for the first time will initiate the boot up sequence, otherwise it's still a very clean, attractive, modern design, and we can tell that the bezel sizes again are very small, symmetrical in fact in terms of the entire layout. They're calling this the Zep OS, but in fact it's still the same real-time OS as before, download the Zep companion app. Now one other difference compared to the second generation model of the watch is now the crown key is rotatable, so you can actually use it just like the Apple Watch to more easily go through lists and menus, which is a really nice touch, and it does have very good haptics, so every time that you're rotating or clicking on something, it gets you a micro vibration that feels very convincing. Once you're done, we can then scan on this QR code to basically pair with your device. Uh, the sides of the watch are still constructed out of this aluminum alloy, it still has 5 ATM for water resistance, and the Crown key here also still presses down, also has a really interesting kind of ZEP logo embedded on the top there, showing some good attention to detail. And by the way, this watch will be retailing along with the GTR 4 for 199 bucks, which is a similar price point as the original model when it was released. And here it is alongside the GTS 2's back design, which you can tell is very similar, also made of this glossy plastic material, but having just a few less sensors. But you can tell that the DNA between both models are definitely retained. This one is a little bit more curvier in, in terms of its shape compared to the last gen. And surprisingly, the frame size is also pretty much par on par. Even the weight feels about the same. So have the aluminum frame, in fact, on the edges as well. Uh, but it's just the screen size is larger because the bezels have been reduced. Just like before, it comes with three gigabytes of built-in storage, which you can load with things like maps, aforementioned sports, and music. And it has built-in Bluetooth 
Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for easy pairing. And again, that Zep app we have already seen in some of their previous wearables, but we can then tap on the plus sign to connect to this watch. Interestingly though, you are able to only connect to one device at a time. And a few final remarks, so here's kind of a quick demo of what that turn-by-turn -turn navigation, once you load a map into the watch, will look like. Pretty neat. Uh, so this will be something you can do via the software once you kind of load that in. And some other features on here include the automatic recognition of various sports, even strength tracking and training activities to detect up to claimed 33% higher accuracy versus the last gen models. As a previous gen owner, it may not be necessarily enough to convince you to upgrade just yet, but if you are in the market for kind of a simple to use smartwatch, which is elegant and has, again, an attractive list of sports tracking and GPS capabilities, this might be worth taking a closer look. But again, we'll have to find out more about the performance in our full review. So be sure to stay tuned for that for our definitive conclusion. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, it's been our first look and unboxing impressions of the new Amazfit GTS 4.